one light. Uh, this is the packaging that comes in this container here. Um, then you just push these clips down, open it up. All right, this is a Bluetooth dongle. This is the dongle here. This goes in the OBD2 port, as you can see here. Okay, and then this is the charger, the charging base. This is the wire, and this is the actual device itself. Okay. Push this aside. This is oh, the power button here. So you just hold this down, and it powers on. Then we have this port here, USB-C, SD card slot, USB-C again. This is the bottom, the side. This is the side also. And then we have the back where it has a camera. And right now it's loading up. It looks like it looks like an hotel. I think it runs some uh, similar software as the hotel. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a video also of scanning the vehicle, showing it scanning the car. Um, so we have diagnostic service settings, data manager, battery test, VCI, update, maxi view. Well, this is the same functions, yeah. Okay, then we support OEM authorization, remote desktop, maxi tools, quick fix, quick link, user feedback, and Autel sensor. If you guys are familiar with the Autels, this is the same setup here on the bottom. Okay, home button. Then we have the maxi tools, quick support, ES File Explorer, Chrome, so you can surf the internet. Then we have settings, and then we have email. This runs on an Android system. So we have network. Then we have connected Bluetooth devices, apps, battery life, display, sound, storage. Okay. Security and location, accounts, accessibility system. It runs Android version 9. It's Bluetooth. Connects to that wireless adapter. Okay. Let's go to settings again. I'm sorry. Android keyboard, okay. I'll go back to here, and then we have um, service. This is, you know, oil reset, electronic parking brake, TPMS system, BMS, battery uh, monitoring system, uh, brake bleed, um, diesel particular filter, aftermarket, immobilizer keys, injectors, SAS, suspension, throttle, uh, window roof, door roof, seats, odometer, Language change, headlamp, change tire size, tech learn, ABS, cylinder, VGT learn, speed PTO, clutch, trans adaptation, airbag reset, air fuel settings, automatic start stop, water pump, EGR, vent. This is for vent rewriting. Then we have FRM reset, transport, HV battery, ACC, AC, rain light sensor, reset control unit, CCS, ACC, relative compression, HVD um, energization, coolant refrigerant, sunroof initialization. Uh, resolver, sensor calibration, camshaft learning, and vinyl dominant check. And then we got short circuit reset. So that's what's in service. So then we have settings, language print settings, push notifications, auto update, battery lower, system settings. And now we're going to go to updates. So this is going to show you the updates for the system. It's already connected to the internet I have in the home. So it's saying... That is good till 2026. It says Honda Acura. There's update for Jeep and a couple other brands. So I'm just gonna hit go to just update Honda Acura. Since we're already in here, VCI. That's for the cable. I mean, that's for the Bluetooth connection. Uh, Maxi View is where you can see what year making models the car will work for. That's how it works. The tool is pretty cool. Works just like the hotel. Um, works great. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a video. I'm um, showing you guys um, how it scans the vehicle in a second. All right. So right after this, what I'm gonna do is plug this into the OBD port, two port, and then uh, it'll connect directly to this. This will light up, and then um, start the scanning process. I'll show you guys. Alright, I'll catch back the video for you guys. 
So uh, right now I'm in the car and basically I have it connected. It's in the OBD2 port down here. Okay. All right. Let's plug in. On the side. All right. So now I'm going to go to diagnostics. You have to make sure the ignition's on, on the vehicle. Make sure the ignition's on. So then you're going to go to diagnostics. Close up the VIN. Going to go to Acura. The diagnostic is loading. Then it shows the VIN. 12 volts from the vehicle. We're going to go to USA. Because I am in the USA. It's a TLX, yes. So it's communicating right now. So we have diagnostics, hot functions, vehicle. So we got diagnosis. This will go through all the systems. Then we have hot functions. This will like go to the systems and you can go to um, whichever one you want. Then we have service to where we can go to maintenance, powertrain, chassis, body. This will show you like how to, it's like different parts of the car, like different add-ons that they have. Like this just set adjustment. Um, basically like special features that they allow you to do. Like to check certain systems and certain valves and things like that. Establishing a connection for the valve. See, so it's crank pattern. Idle start, count to clear. Idle start, sound to force right. Okay, then we have chassis, steering angle sensor. That's for like the um, the wheel speed sensors to reset those. Tire pressure to monitor the system, immobilizer, and then the headlamps. Then we got SCS. No, I'm not messing with that. Okay, and then we got vehicle profile. This will pull up the vehicle's um, information. Okay, so... Uh, now we're going to, um, I hit back too many times. So now I'm just going to go through a full scan of the system and show you guys how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go to diagnosis. There's auto scan and control unit. This is where you go to each module to check each module, but I'm going to go to auto scan so it scans all the systems. So we have hot system, there's some systems, and then we have all system. So I'm going to go all systems to scan. Okay, it says execute all tests, so that means that it'll take some time. So it's gonna, it's actually, do you wanna go through all the checks of testing all the systems? Yes, we do. The vehicle's in park. Now it's going through the systems. It's gonna go through each system in the car and then report back as red, whatever has an issue, whatever system has an issue. And then it's showing the percentage of top 24%. That'll keep going up as it keeps scanning all the systems. Is up to system uh, 11 now. Most of the time, what I usually do is just set it and then just let it scan and then come back to it after it's done because it's a lot of systems to scan. But I'm going to let you guys see the full process because you guys want to know how the tool works and, and everything. So I want to show you guys the full down no skips in between no stopping so you guys the full process so you guys understand if you guys want to fast forward during this point that's fine you guys can fast forward it but uh i'm going to show the full process because you guys need to know how fast this scans and everything i have um scanned it and um yeah well i have scanned it and um just like stood in front of the car with the device itself and it still worked so probably has like a couple feet distance that you can uh, go away and it still functions so right now it's at 69 percent so 
scanning. Be almost done. It's at 90%. Ninety-six percent, hundred percent. Okay, so I have a code here for the VSA. Just click on that, and then just recodes. Electronic parking parking brake. It's an electronic parking brake code. It's probably old. So then we have live active test adjustment and special functions for the VSA. Each system has different functions that you can go to for different things, depending on you know where the codes are. There's no way to really know what systems that is able to access what special systems unless you go into the system itself and, and double check just to make sure. See TPMS. Then we have active test and, and these are all the other systems. It says pass. No response mean that there was no way to test it. Pass, pass, pass. Everything else passed. It's just that one code. So I'm gonna do a quick erase. And it erased all the codes. That's it. It's good to go. If you guys have any questions, this is control unit. This makes you go to each system separately. All right. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them with a like, share, subscribe, and comment. This is a great tool. It works great and it's wireless. You can't beat that. Um, if you guys are interested, I had a link down in the bottom of the video's description. Um, and uh, enjoy. Peace. Have a good day, y'all.